Hey everyone, Mark here from CNC Sourced. Today I'll be discussing everything you need to know to start engraving and etching anodized aluminum the right way. We'll discuss what anodized aluminum is, the differences between laser engraving and laser etching, which types of lasers work best, how to choose the ideal settings, and some awesome project ideas you can try out. So first, what exactly is anodized aluminum? Anodized aluminum is an incredibly versatile and durable material that takes laser engraving and etching extremely well. It comes in a wide variety of colors and has a smooth metallic shine that looks amazing when engraved or etched. Anodized aluminum starts out as regular aluminum metal that goes through an electrolytic process called anodizing. This anodizing process creates an oxidized layer on the surface that both protects the aluminum from corrosion and also allows it to be dyed different colors. The anodized layer is extremely hard and durable. It scores a 70 on the Rockwell hardness scale, which is very close to the hardness of diamond. This makes anodized aluminum highly resistant to scratching, abrasion, and wear. Now let's talk about the key differences between laser engraving versus laser etching on anodized aluminum. With laser engraving, you are removing the anodized layer completely to expose the bare aluminum metal underneath. This creates a really nice high contrast mark. On the other hand, with laser etching, you are only changing the color of the anodized layer itself, not removing it. Laser etching retains the protective properties of the anodizing, including corrosion and abrasion resistance. For industrial and manufacturing uses where maintaining the integrity of the anodized coating is critical, laser etching is more common. But for art, customization, and DIY projects, laser engraving has some advantages. The main benefit of laser engraving is that you can achieve brighter, higher contrast results, especially if you use a colored anodized aluminum as your base material. The contrast pops more compared to etching. One common question I get is whether laser engraving damages the anodized aluminum. The answer is no, the engraved areas are recessed, so any abrasion just deepens them further rather than damaging the surface. Also, aluminum naturally forms a protective oxide layer, preventing corrosion issues. All right, next let's discuss which types of lasers can be used for engraving and etching anodized aluminum. For engraving, you can use diode, CO2, or fiber lasers. Even relatively low power diode lasers around 15 watts can successfully engrave anodized aluminum. For engraving bare aluminum without an anodized coating, you'll need at least a 30 watt CO2 laser or fiber laser. And only high power fiber lasers can cut completely through aluminum. Dialing in the optimum laser settings can take some trial and error testing. But here are some great starting points. For 15 to 20 watt diode lasers, Use full power around 100% and a speed of 100 to 110 millimeters per second. You can increase the speed for diode lasers with higher wattages. For CO2 lasers, begin with full power, maximum speed, and around 340 dots per inch. Then adjust from there. Fiber lasers can engrave aluminum much faster thanks to their higher intensity beam. For laser etching, use your laser's highest speed that still marks the material at full power and incrementally reduce the power until you transition from engraving to etching. All right, now let's discuss some amazing project ideas you can create with engraved or etched anodized aluminum. Some cool possibilities include custom laptop lids, metal pens, pet tags, house numbers, signs, promotional products, jewelry, and much more. Anodized aluminum takes laser marking incredibly well and is available in so many bold, vibrant colors like red, blue, gold, and more. The results you can achieve look fabulous with a glossy metallic sheen. Whether you want to create a personalized gift, start an Etsy shop, or make customized products for your business, anodized aluminum is a fantastic material to work with. So in summary, anodized aluminum is durable, comes in many colors, and can be engraved or etched by common lasers like diode, CO2, and fiber lasers. The contrast 
and high quality results you can get with anodized aluminum are amazing. I hope this overview gives you a great starting point for working with this versatile material. Let me know if you have any other questions. For more details and tips, I've created a complete step-by-step -step guide over on the CNC sourced blog. I really recommend checking it out if you want to learn more about successfully engraving or etching anodized aluminum. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.